This is going to end up being the Doom Room, where we're going to end up finding the five secret ducks before we can end up placing them on these altars and opening up a secret combat challenge that then ends up giving us this new weapon. So once you've done the broadcast main story mission, you're going to have access to the VNC tower, and then you can end up going all the way back down this hallway to get the elevator. It takes a really long time for the elevator to show up though. Once you do finally end up getting all the way up to the top, uh, you're going to notice this little ledge right here and a couple windows underneath you. So we can very easily just glide our way in here. There's going to be a, you know, inhibitor chip and everything, but there's also going to end up being this safe. Now, there is a note that you can end up finding in this location. I don't remember what the note says specifically, but the point is that the password is going to end up being 666. You'll open this and then I've already got this duck, but this would end up being our first black duck. The next one, as we can actually just see it from up top, is right over here. So this is going to end up being between the borders of these two areas with the Lower Dam and the Lost Nomads, which is, uh, my marker was a little bit off, but it's roughly right here. You can see it from the bridge and everything like that. So the third duck is going to be at the Mount Lucid Observatory, which is just over here. The main story did end up taking you to this area at some point, but there's the VNC tower just for reference. It's actually to the left of it. And what you're going to want to do is climb up these rocks, or if you can finesse your way up, you can gr uh, grappling hook some of the walls. But generally speaking, I just do this because it's a lot easier. Uh, and then what you're going to do is grapple our way up here. And within this guard tower, there's going to end up being our next ducky. So the next duck is actually going to be right over here. Uh, so just for frame of reference, here's the floating fortress of the PKs. And then just up at the top left over here, it's going to end up being under the bridge. So there is a bunch of ropes and stuff you can do to get down here to this GRE anomaly right here. But we're going to skip over him. And instead, we're going to jump right over the fence. And then this pillar right here for the bridge, if we end up using our Q menu, well, actually that didn't help, but there's going to end up being this car right here and hidden inside it is going to end up being a bunch of skulls and our next ducky. So this next one actually takes us to the starting area again, and it's going to actually be right in the top left up here at the edge of the border. So if I can get my Q menu to go off, we can see that it's right there. It's actually in the contamination zone. So you can just barely make it here. And then that's going to end up being our last duck. So now we're actually back at the VNC tower and you may or may not have noticed that you can actually select multiple floors for the elevator. I always just go to the top, but what we're gonna be doing now that we have all the ducks is go into the basement and there's going to end up being a couple puzzles and a combat challenge. So this should end up being pretty cool because I haven't really experienced this myself. Uh, but generally speaking, we're just going to have to swim through the area really quickly. And now this door that was previously locked when we were doing the story mission in the broadcast tower is going to be open. And you can see it's starting to get very, very ominous and cool. And then this is going to end up taking us to level zero. That's what we're going for. So now that we're down here, there's going to end up being this doom room, which we're going to have to set up. Uh, all of these cables around and place all, all of our duckies on the altars. And last duck right here. Freaky. So now what we have to do is we got to do a very weird little cable puzzle. And uh, basically we need to make a pentagram. The easiest way to do this is from the cable that we're looking at, we turn around directly and then we're going to end up placing the cable into that slot. So grab the next cable, turn around, and then it's going to end up basically being the slot that's right behind you. And last one here, hopefully I didn't mess this up. Sweet, we did it. Okay, so, and then what this is going to do is it's going to end up giving us this, uh, and the boomstick, the doom gun. All right, so the challenge itself actually has quite a few things inside it. I've played through it a few times just so I could figure it all out and present a instructive video for you guys rather than just me fumbling around in there. But one thing that I did notice is because the game is so glitchy, uh, I ended up actually having to remove the boomstick that I had in my inventory from my uh, just active accessory slots because otherwise when I ended up going into the mini game, I couldn't shoot the gun. 
which was kind of weird. Um, there's going to end up being two blueprints, and the combat challenge itself requires five individual keys. And it's a really, really cool homage because we've basically got the uh, level E1M1 from uh, the old school Doom game. And I really, really like that the secret doorway in order to access the last area, it's like nobody would know about it unless they played the old school Doom, which I played the hell out of that game. So there's our first volatile, gotta be very careful there. Um, I'm trying to be cautious, but if we go to the left over here, you'll see that there's a boom guy, and then right here would end up being a blueprint for a weapon. See, that's the thing, the volatile, like there's just so many of these mobs that they can just slowly tank your health down. So that would normally be the exit of the original Doom level. Uh, but right here, there's gonna be a secret wall that you're gonna be mashing the F button on, or the active key, in order to end up opening and getting over into this area, which this area has the final key. And I'm pretty sure it just ended the challenge instead of giving me the final blueprint. There we go. So that was the other weapon that we needed to get out of there. The final ability that we ended up just getting was the Dying Force, which is... Uh, Literally like a force choke, which unfortunately, again, it seems like I'm going to have to grind up my scraps before I have the final clip of this video. All right, there we go. So I could just barely afford it. God, I'm going to be broke after this. <laughs> it's literally the master sword. That's so cool. Here, let me get out of here just so that I can actually pull it out. It's the master sword. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, what does it do as far as damage is concerned? Because it doesn't have a damage number to it. It makes a sound. It has infinite durability, though. So I guess that's kind of cool. Okay, uh, let's see the other ability. So the Dying Force, which does 100 damage. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations. Cool. Let me just equip it right here. It, is that it? It just... Do I toggle it? And then, like, I'm holding the button and it doesn't seem to lift them. It just seems to knock them down. Can I only do it to, like, humanoids? Like, I can't do it to zombies? Hold up. Humanoids, listen to me. I meant bandits. What about... There we go. I can only do it to him for some reason. That's very odd. So I seem to just press it once, and then it just toggles on the effect, and that's it. Oh, so it can do it to a group. That's pretty cool. Not worth the scrap to craft it is the only problem, and I won't be able to... Yeah, I can't repair it or anything, so it's just a gimmick. I wish I could repair it so that I didn't have to use all my scrap again. Ah, oh, man, and then there goes the weapon. Okay, well, either way, gamers... That's gonna do it for me. I just wanted to show you guys how to get all those cool items. They're just Easter egg weapons, so it kind of makes sense. They don't really do much, but either way, that was pretty cool.